see you guys. Let's do it. Let's finish the LA Los Angeles Times newspaper from Sunday, the 14th. We never got to do, we didn't get to go through the, the, um, ads. I love the ads in the Sunday newspaper. We didn't get to go through the ads. We didn't get to go through the calendar section, or the parade magazine, or the travel section, or the art section. We didn't get to do the comics, or the book, book section, and the car section, and, um, and the classified. We didn't get to do the fun part of the newspaper. So, Do you guys get a parade magazine, or is that just for the LA Times? Okay, well, here's, this is what we missed. Calendar section. Ben Hur for our time. That's right. Ben Hur coming out. Natalie Portman, first time director. A Tale of Love and Darkness. They're saying that the opening ceremonies are a hit. Gladys Knight deserves a review. I guess Gladys Knight has been at the Hollywood Bowl. Christmas says he easily relates to his hip hop obsessed character in his new film, but he'll skip the love part for now. 16 year old Marquis Christmas saw snow. And he's a South Los Angeles native, making his debut in the film Morris from America. Underrated. They're saying that the Olympics were underrated and that the Game of Thrones is overrated. Hmm. Oh, they're talking about Meryl Streep in that movie. Florence Jenkins. Flor Florence Foster.
Do you guys actually go, go to the movie theaters? I find I, I get excited about the new movie, and I just wait for it to come, come to uh, DVD. That's terrible. Why does the matinee even cost anything? Charlton Heston from the 1959. I don't know if I'm going to like the new Ben Hur. The, the original one is so awesome. Natalie Portman. It's such a weird, crazy mon moment in history, says Natalie Portman about Israel's founding the theme of her Love in Darkness movie. Oh. Portman. Mom. I'll have to find out more about that movie. Small eyes, big drama, and little men. Filmmaker Ira Sosh tale of a clash between Brooklyn families is personal to him. Drama, little man. Never heard of it. Swept away by aquatic beauty, Ab Zoo, one of the year's best games, is an undersea fantasia with a sense of wonder as its goal. No other video game focuses so clearly on recreating a vast, majestic, and mysterious aquatic universe as the peaceful uh, zoo. Oh, that's a video game. Mmm. Zoo. Race with the whales in safety while slowly unraveling the secrets in the abstract game from developer Giant Squid Studios. Hmm. That might be a game I would like. I think that's why I shied away from a lot of video games. Is the violence. But that doesn't that seem like a doesn't that seem like a TV Guide. Oh, I guess they don't have, it's not called TV Guide anymore. It's called TV Weekly. TV Weekly. They don't say how much the savings are. Um, 13 issues for 11 bucks. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'd be into that. Julian Dennison, Sam Neill in the New Zealand film Hunt for the Wilder people. Hmm. Events and revivals. American cinema. Cinema. The harmonica. Discussion. Um, some kind of gathering, then you watch the movie and have a discussion or something. Yeah. And they have another one at the Egyptian Theater, Hollywood Boulevard. And then, 25 years of Academy Film Archive. Oh, that would be a good event. Archival Revival. At the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Science. Samuel Goldwyn Theater. On Wilshire Boulevard. That would be fun. Oh, they're having a happy birthday. Robert Redford is turning 80. Are you kidding me? So they're they're playing they're gonna play the 
the sting from 1973. I have to Westwood, Chris Westwood, Westwood Boulevard. Mm. Can you believe Robert Redford is 80? Sophia Loren. Tickets from $90 at the Cerritos Center. She's listed as one of the most beautiful women. She's going to have an interview and uh, stories. A personal triumph story. And the audience can ask her questions. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. And Dick Van Dyke and the Fantastics at the Surreal Center. Tickets for 65 bucks. I saw him the other day on a, in the news. He's he's like I think he's. They did a little remake of Super Califragilisticexpialidocious. No, I like Dick Van Dyke. Oh, Chris Strompolos is as Indiana Jones in a fun Raiders remake. Hmm. and turns of Tuscany's narrow two-lane scenic route 222 makes for a bracing motorcycle adventure, I bet. I'm scared of motorcycles, though. Oh, I always... I always see motorcycles on the freeway. I always say a prayer for it because I feel like they're an easy... easy... Teenagers about border. Airline outages strike. If a bulky computer system leaves you stranded, here's how you can take action. I want to tell you what, how you how to respond. A walk in the park. Sunken Gardens, outside Victoria, Canada. The gardens are in what used to be a limestone quarry. Pretty. And a modern totem. On the grounds of the Provincial Parliament in Victoria, Canada. Welcome visitors. Modern totem ball. The Royal BC Museum has an outstanding exhibition original totem poles. They don't call them totem poles, they call them totems. Uh -huh. Bard and Baker's grilled brie, well, white cheddar and goat cheese sandwich with syrup. Oh my goodness, look at that grilled cheese right there. They're saying they put It's a one, it is wonderful to feel the grandness of Canada in the raw. They had that at the museum. That looks delicious. K 
kid-friendly activities include a life-size chessboard. Hmm. Cabins in Nortown. Looking for a different camping experience. Here's a rustic wooden cabin. Northern California State Parks. Yeah, they're kind of cool. There's nothing in there. There's no electricity, no nothing. It's just a cabin. But we stayed in it years ago, and you just bring your own stuff. They may have had, like, wooden. They may have had wooden beds. I can't recall. But you just bring, like, your own sleeping bag and stuff. But it's kind of nice, and it has, like, a little patio, a little porch. A look at London's Great Fire of 1666. A new exhibition at the Museum of London details the Great Fire of London in 1666, making the 350th anniversary an event that radically changed the city. On September 2nd, blaze started small but ultimately destroyed a quarter of the city and four days later was under control. I had no clue. Las Vegas Showgirls. What's going on in Vegas? You can still enjoy the glory of the showgirl era in Las Vegas. At the Flores Berger, entertaining. Long rhinestone at a time. A display at the Nevada State. Convention Center. That runs through January 15. Les Falls Berger opened in December of 1959 at the Tropicana and closed in March of 2009. After a, just shy of its 50th anniversary, the fantasy and glamour of the Follies are brought to life through costumes, photographs, and personal narratives from the cast and from... I really love these old, these um, Las Vegas showgirls. I can't believe they don't have the old-fashioned showgirl show anymore. So, remember the old-fashioned the showgirl? Remember when Lucy... Ricky tried to get her to have a little part in a Hollywood movie as a showgirl. She comes gracefully down the stairway, but she couldn't do it. Do you guys remember that? That was bad. A surprise to be with delight. What is this? The Tuscan, the Tuscan hill town of San Grimignano. It is the province of Siena is known for its medieval architecture. Its historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mm. They're talking about driving these little classic sport motorcycles are part of the display at the Ducati's Museum and Factory in Bologna. They call it Motorcycle Paradise for Art of Enchantment. Be a friend. See, that motorcycle looks like fun because there's no cars around. They tell you um, where to eat, where to stay, costs for riding your motorcycle, phone numbers, and the best way to get to Florence, Italy. That's nice. They give you all the Working up an appetite in the land of fresh pasta, fruit, and excellent vintage wine. Orange rooted in family. The vineyards, the Bachari family has owned the vineyard since the 1800s, are on rolling hills outside of Rada in Chiatti, Italy. Hmm. Legacy, ham and other meats hang, hanging from the 
ceiling of Antica Masarina Valerini, a butcher shop in Great Italy since 1806. The Figmaggio is in a villa. Unusual, since most minor states in Chianti are in castle. And Italy has so much history. Quick escapes. Adventure is never far away. Huntington Beach, Palm Springs, that's right, there's so many fun places close by. Um, Palm Springs, oh my goodness. Sip, splash, repeat. Sip, splash, repeat. I haven't been to Palm Springs in so long. Last, last time. Springs Golf Course, travel to India from $1,600, a 12-day tour of India for, from $1,600. Um, let's see, one hour Huntington Beach, two hours Salona Beach, three hours Vancouver, four hours by Air Chicago. Oh yeah, that was three hours by Air Vancouver from L.A. And then five hours by, by Air Belize. Now that's a beautiful place. That's right. The first time I saw Belize from the air, though, I thought it was so beautiful, was when, uh, you know Gene Simmons, his show, reality show, Family Jewel. They took Shannon to there, and they had beautiful shots from the air. It made me re relook at the lace. I never, I never saw it as beautiful as I did when they showed it on a show. Keeping track of Union Station, new home to four museums, Union Station in Alden, Utah was designed by the same architect behind LA, LA's train station. Really, it almost looked like, like LA train station, Union Station. Sharp-eyed railroad fans will notice similarities between the train depot in LA and Ogden, Utah. I did, and I didn't, I didn't even know it was in our train station until I read it. Hmm. They've got the Utah Railroad Museum there, the John M. Browning Firearms Museum, Kimball Cla Classic Car Museum, and Utah State Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Our Power Valley and the Gallery of the Country. World's leading cruise line, Escape from LA. Cruise sailing from Los Angeles in San Diego, Seattle, Vancouver, it's, it's time you took a break from the City of Angels and cruised the seas. I don't know. Hooray for Harlem. Serengeti's salutation. Isn't that pretty? Somebody celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary in Tanzania. Watch that. They're from Manhattan Beach, so for them to see this. Look at how pretty it has pinks and blues. Unbelievable. Rent a cool car privately with Turo. 
Metro.com is a place that allows drivers to rent their car or rent someone else's car for fun and profit. Elite in LA. Hmm. You can rent Jeeps or any kind of car you want. It's an app. Turo, T U R O dot com. The cheap was $99 a day, but you had a 20% discount if you did it for the month. Hmm. Benefits of booking direct hotels are offering deals on their website that can improve their and customers' bottom line. That makes sense to always book yourself. Just go right to the place. We've always done that. Question quiz, geo quiz. The oldest synagogue in the United States is in which state? Rhode Island, Connecticut, or New Hampshire? The answer is Rhode Island. cruise deal, a wine cruise along the Danube River. You start in Hungary, and prices start at $2,200 per person. Oh. Shanghai, probably Shanghai, round trip fare to Shanghai from LA is $540. From LA to Atlanta, 368. LA to Chi Town, 296. LA to Denver, 262. LA to Honolulu, 589. Las Vegas, 98 bucks from LA. No, New York, Newark, 442 from LA. Phoenix, 136 from LA. San Francisco, 118 from LA. Seattle, 189 from LA. Washington, D.C., 344. Then, to New Zealand, Auckland, 1200 bucks from LA. Cabo San Lucas is 371 from LA. London starts at $1,000 from LA. Paris, 920 from LA. Sydney, Australia, 9.36, starting 9.36 from L.A. And Tokyo, 8.54, starts at 8.54 from L.A. And Vancouver, Canada, starts at 3.81 from L.A. Oh, that was fun. I think I'm going to do a part three. Arts and books, the comics. Thanks for watching.